Britain's National Physical Laboratory is based in Teddington near London. Just getting into the labs involves a high-tech door lock triggered by handprint identification. The NPL is a world leader in the field. Biometric recognition is about identifying or recognising people on the basis of their physical and behavioural characteristics. So that encompasses technologies like fingerprint recognition or face recognition and iris recognition, which are perhaps reasonably well known, but also a large number of, of, of other methods of recognition, recognition, recognizing people from things like vein patterns or their signatures, um, 3D, 3D face images, um, and even things like um, recognizing heartbeats. I mean, even identical twins have different, different fingerprints and they behave in slightly different ways. So there's enough distinguishing information between two, two, any two individuals really to be able to sep separate them, to be able to identify them in, in one way or another. The NPL team is working on the very latest technology for tracking and identifying individuals, gadgets that will become familiar at airports and banks all over the world in years to come. This machine takes an image of your iris and compares it with a database. Iris patterns are unique to each individual as are facial details. This scanner records facial features in three dimensions and can be used remotely to identify people in a crowd. The many security cameras in Britain's cities could therefore be used to track an individual's movements automatically. Small handheld devices like mobile phones could be carried by police to provide instant checks against a national database. I think it will be a gradual rollout of, of biometric systems. I don't think, um, in a few years' time, I think people will have encountered biometric systems beyond just the use in, in criminal justice. Um, some, some use in airports or in, in associated with, with passport control I think is inevitable because they are recording biometric information on chips in, in passports. So I rest, I, I, my, my guess would be that in a few years' time that people will suddenly realise that they've been using biometrics in perhaps a small way on, on, or in a growing way over the last few years. Handprints are also unique to each individual alongside the more familiar fingerprints. This new machine records the veins and arteries in your hand, another means of confirming you are who you really say you are. And take it away and put the other hand.